Hey you, so we've talked about this a lot, right? Still, one of the leading causes, preventable causes of death in patients after surgery remains thromboembolism, venous thrombosis, blood clots. Uh, and the way we think about it is perhaps we need to understand the patient at risk, link that to a plan of action, and then wherever implementation wants to go, make sure that that plan of action gets followed and audited for actual events. Now, you're a worldwide expert, predominantly on the first segment. So, so how do you think about risk stratification of a patient? Well, I think about risk stratification as taking a thorough history and physical. And if you see my shirt, uh, it, it was a saying that was given to me by a friend, and it's never treat a stranger and that means you've got to take a good history and physical and you've got to know a lot about that pe person. So now it's just like they're your friend. And that taking a good history and physical means to go through all of the factors that are known to cause a blood clot, cancer, immobility, infection, and so forth. And then these factors are all weighted. So you take the number of factors and the weight of the factors and you put them together in a score. So you mean that uh, some type of factors are worse than others, right? Yes. For example, uh, like, let's say comparing cancer to something else, or what do you do? Yes, uh, bed rest is a, a one, uh, cancer would be a two, and a history of past blood clots or family history would be a three. Sure. So that's how that works. And, and then, then that gets composed to your premium score. So right. what I'm hearing is that perhaps the, the strategy for implementation worldwide I'll simplify in three components is patient goes for surgery, we stratify Caprini score, we link that to a plan of action, and then create audits. So, and you've written a nice piece about it. So if you'd like to look more about it, the link on the bottom is going to tell you something about uh, Joe recently wrote. Then I want to finish with one thing, and that is this collection of risk factors that you make up for a patient, I've termed the patient's baggage. And that baggage goes with the patient wherever the patient goes. For example, to the operating room. It doesn't make any difference what their surgery is, but they take that baggage with them, and then it's the baggage plus the risk of the surgical procedure that together determines their overall risk. So do check out our latest uh, for more information on this. Thank you, Joe.